Hey guys, welcome to Ibinker. My name is Ingrid and today I am with my beautiful friend. Oh hi guys, my name is Mar. I'm from the Philippines but I grew up here in America. Um, but I do speak Tagalog. And I speak Spanish. So we thought that it was going to be really cool if we can both compare the similarities of our languages. So today we are going to be sharing phrases that you can use when you travel to the Philippines or any country in Latin America or Spain and also words that are commonly used that are very similar in Tagalog and Spanish. Yeah. Ready? I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the first one. The first one is Hello, how are you? ¿Cómo Hola, está? ¿cómo estás? So, ¿cómo está? Is, yeah. It's similar. So, you say, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Okay, so we say, ¿cómo estás? Mm -hmm. Do you say, hello? Well, it's kind of like, it kind of goes together. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, that's that's how I use it. And then if you want to say it in a respectful way, it's like, ¿cómo está vos? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Interesting. and then um, a lot of the times it's also like, hello, ball. Because <laughs> it's a, yeah. like in the Philippines, they speak English there too. Okay, okay. The <laughs> so the next one is, my name is. I Mi nombre es. es Mar. Oh, that's different. Yeah. How would you say it? Aku po si Mar. Oh, so I'll say, mi nombre es Ingrid. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's not the same. Yeah, well, it's not the same. We were going. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, okay. <laughs> we're gonna get there. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. I need yeah. to learn how to say how to say it. Yeah. So okay, do it one more time. Ako, which is me. Mm -hmm. See, Mar. So like, I am Mar. Cool. Mm -hmm. See, guys, we are learning a new language yeah. here. <laughs> I love that. All right. So when you wanna ask for the price of something, I was thinking we can do how much is it? Yeah. Okay. Magkano ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? <laughs> <laughs> how would you say it? I'm like, I kept getting distracted. By <laughs> okay, so, magkano po ang, so how much is whatever you're asking about. Okay, yeah. and then in Spanish you will say, ¿cuánto cuesta esto? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Cuesta es esto. Huh. So you see, like, there's some differences with the phrases. Yeah. I feel like we were going good, but then... It's not okay. anymore. We started out with that one. <laughs> and then we started with the words and the words are very yeah. similar. So mm -hmm. we're going to get to the words very yeah. soon. Mm -hmm. All right. So how would you reply this cost this much? Oh, it's 50 pesos. That's cool. Yeah. So for us, 50 means 50. Yeah. Is yeah, that what it means? Two, yeah. See, I'm telling you, yeah. that's similar. Yeah. So I feel like in our case, we will say, esto cuesta 50 dólares. So one thing that we came to the agreement that was important is asking where is the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so important. Very important. Yeah. So this is how you say it in Tagalog. Saan yung baño or saan po yung baño? Oh, that's close. Yeah. We will say, donde esta el baño? Oh, okay. I feel like the words are very similar, mm -hmm. not the phrases. Yeah, not the phrases. Yeah. It's time to move on to the words. I feel like this is where they get very similar. So we're just gonna start with clothes. And I guess we can just say it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Would that be good? Yeah. All right, okay, so let's start with shoes. Ready? Okay. Zapatos. That was very yeah. similar. Yeah. So you say it with an S, so zapatos. Oh, and I use a C. You use a C. Yeah, so zapatos. Okay. Yeah. There you go, okay, there that's go. similar. Okay. Okay, what about pants? Pantalones? Pantalon. Oh, you say pantalon. Yeah. So pantalon. it's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for us, but oh, you know what? If it's only one, it's pantalon. Mm -hmm. And if it's plenty of them, it's pantalones. So it, if it was multiple, it would be mga pantalon. Mm. What about blouse? Camiseta? It would, yeah, it would be like camisol, like camisol. camisol. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move into home goods. Okay. How would you say couch? So Sofa? Siliahan. Siliahan. So anything that's like, 
you sit on, it would be Celia or like Celia. So you anything also, that you would sit on. So for example, chair would be Celia. Oh, okay. We call it chair. Uh, we call it Zia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So for us, it's Zia, and then you call it Celia. Celia. Okay, that's similar. Yeah. It's just that we make an emphasis in the double L. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about bed? How would you say it? Kama. Same. We really? call it kama. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh wow. Is it with a C? With a K. Okay. Yeah. We use it with yeah. a C. Yeah. So it's kama. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. That's cool. Oh my God. <laughs> see, guys, we're telling you, it's very similar. Okay. What about blanket? Okay. How would you say it? Kumot. Oh, now we say that sabana. So, sabana? Mm hmm What about pillow? Pillow? Mm hmm Okay, uh, unan. Okay, now we call it almohada. Almohada? Mm hmm That's so pretty. <laughs> That's pretty? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say it again, say it again, because it, it sounds so good. <laughs> okay, let's move into kitchen goods. Okay. What about fork? Let's say it at the same time. Okay, okay. 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 Tenedor. I forgot. Tenedor. We call it tenedor. Yeah. <laughs> but we call it the same. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wait, was I even referring to that? Yeah, we call it tenedor. Yeah, tenedor. What about a uh, spoon? Oh, we can okay. say it together. Yeah, let's say it together. Okay. Cuchara. Yeah. Okay. That's the okay. same. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like household goods, I feel like. It's the same? Yeah. What about a knife? Um, we call it cuchillo. Yeah, cuchillo. Cuchillo? Yeah. See? That's yeah. so cool. Forgot. So I feel like a lot of home goods, mm -hmm. well, kitchen goods are going to be very similar. Yeah. What about plate? Platito. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. You call it platito? Yeah. Platito. We call it plato. And then if it's like a small oh. plate, then we'll call it platito. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I guess platito <laughs> and then plato. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. That's cute that you call it platito. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. I call anything platito because it just, it's just cute. <laughs> What about water? How would you call that? Uh, what do you what do you call? Agua. Oh yeah, I'm terrible. Uh, too big. Too big. Too big. Yeah, that's what like it's too big, but it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you say vegetables? Gulai. Verduras. So that's definitely yeah not similar. Verdura. Yeah, verduras. Ver. ver Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I feel like gulai. It's easy. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, that's easy. Cute. What about fruits? How will you call fruits? Uh, frutas. We call it frutas. So for you is with a P. Yeah, it's with a P. So for us is with an F. Frutas. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. There that's we go. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. What about bread? How will you call bread? Tinapay. Oh, I feel like the end. We call it pan. Pan? Mm hmm Because you call it tina pan? Tina pa. Uh, tina pa. No, now you're going to be confused. Tina pai. Tina, tina pai. pai. And we just call it pan. Yeah. Oh. But whenever you cook stuff, there's like pan in the word. Because a lot of our dishes are like Spanish too. Mm hmm So, like, pan de sal. Oh, yeah, wait. Pan de sal. What is that? It's like another word for bread. Hmm. Yeah, so tinapay, bread, pandisal. It's like a roll. Pandisal is like a roll. That's interesting. Yeah. See, like it's very similar. I feel like we will survive. I feel like you will survive yeah. in El Salvador. Yeah. I will I survive in the Philippines. We're good. Yeah. We can just ask for home goods mm -hmm. and food. <laughs> I know. We're good. Which is important. The bathroom yeah. and water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. What about some colors? Oh gosh, okay. So I wanna try blue, azul. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, azul. Azul. With a Z. Uh, azul. No, I think it was an S. With an S. Yeah. Okay, for us it's with a Z. Yeah. Azul. Yeah. That's interesting. What about pink? Rosas. Rosado. Yeah. So very similar. Yeah. What yeah. about black? Item. Oh, now we say it negro. What about white? 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 Yeah. Uh, pute. Uh, blanco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for example, transportation, because when you travel, you need to move around. How will you say car? I mean car. Coche. 
Ok, ya yeah, pues el coche, carro, automóvil. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about bicycle or bike? How would you say it? Bicicleta. Same, bicicleta. Yeah. There you go. What about plane? Aeroplano. Ok, ya yeah, we call it avión. Yeah. Aeroplano, but we usually say avión, but I feel like if you were to say aeroplano, I get it. Alright, see, it's very similar. So I was thinking that you guys might be interested in learning a little bit more about our home countries. Yeah, okay, so I asked when we were like um, trying to put it together, mm -hmm. I asked you, I was like, so do you use, because there's, there's um, fork, there's spoon and knife. So I asked Ingrid, I was like, do you use, which two utensils do you use the most? And you said knife and fork. Yeah. And I said, oh, I, I, we use either our hands or the spoon and fork. And then it would be just like spoon and then you just kind of push the food into the spoon and then eat it or just like have your hands. That's so interesting. Yeah, because yeah, in our case, I feel like in El Salvador, people eat a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. So then we need yeah. the knife and the fork. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we've been just trained that way. Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. Is there any like previous like in history that that's how it was? Yeah, that's just how yeah. that's how I just learned it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's how, how my grow. grandparents taught me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just because we have a lot of meat, mm -hmm. and then otherwise it's hard and it doesn't look very proper. Yeah, that you you eat it. Yeah, but I feel like some people like we have this traditional dish that is called pupusas, mm -hmm. and that, for example, we will eat it with our hands. So a pupusa, for those who don't know, is a corn tortilla that has stuffing inside. So you can do cheese, beans, anything that you might want to add. You just add it so it looks like a tortilla, but then it has like stuffing inside. So it's really delicious. If you ever can try a pupusa, you will love them. So yeah. in your case, what is your traditional dish? Um, so our traditional dish is like adobo, so it's it's kind of, it's like Spanish based, mm -hmm. um, so we were like Spanish for like in the Philippines for like 300 years, mm -hmm. um, and so you can actually like add anything into the adobo and it's kind of like, um, I mean every family makes it differently, mm -hmm. but it's ma ma majority like vinegar and like sweet flavors. Um, it's really good. You should look it up. That's interesting. I feel like I'm gonna put a picture for a pupusa and also for yeah. a double here, so you have the reference of what are we talking about. Mm -hmm. But this video has been like really interesting, especially realizing that a lot of the words that we have are the same. Yeah, it's just the way that we grind them, mm -hmm. but the same sounds. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I like the. I like how it's similar in sound. Because yeah. then I can really understand it. Yeah. You will do good. So yeah. if you ever go to any Latin American country, you will be fine. Yeah. And it makes it easier to learn your language too. Mm -hmm. Because the the way that our like pronunciation already moves mm -hmm. is a lot easier too. Yes. And I feel like you already roll the R's. Yeah. Yeah. And you have a lot of the sounds that we have. So it's cool. Yeah. This has been really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mark. This has been so fun to film and I hope you guys enjoy our collab. Yeah. If you ever want to visit the Philippines, refer to this video to mm -hmm. learn all the interesting words and phrases that you're going to need. And also give this beautiful lady a follow on Instagram so you can reach out to her if you have any questions. She oh. can explain you everything you need to know about the Philippines. Yeah. Or I'll, I can try. <laughs> I can try. I can definitely try. I feel like it's good when it comes from a local yeah yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you mark for being part of this video oh, thank you thank you for having me thank you yeah. and i will see you guys next week with a new video if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to our pinket yeah. give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and leave us any comments in the comment section below if you have any questions we'll be more than happy to answer those so i'll see you guys with a new video next week bye, bye.